It's all right. Get me, give me this. <laughs> My time. You done? Oh, enjoy it. Hello, and welcome <laughs> to another deep and insightful vlog about relationships and shit. Relationships and shit. Just relationships. I'm Nick. And all the shit that comes with them. I'm Ivana. So, the one we're going to tackle now is Boys Don't Cry. Mm. Right. This one gets me to no end. As some of you that know me well might know that I am, for a guy, rather emotional. However, for a human being, I think it's quite reasonable. Mm -hmm. I think the whole thing about boys don't cry and stiff up a lip and all of this crap is absolutely bullshit. And I think it's highly detrimental to our race moving forward. Well, this is why we've got such a big issue now in probably not just our country, um, but such an issue with men suffering from mental illness and um, suicide. Because yeah. basically our men, especially our older men, have been raised to basically not show emotion and not ask for help and not express their feelings, thoughts and feelings kind of thing. So um, in all areas of life. And not only that, is when you suck up the courage to actually express yourself, mm. then then you get met with piss taking and bullying yeah. and all of this kind of stuff, and you achieve absolutely nothing. In fact, it often makes it a lot worse. Um, I mean, I know a couple of rather large Facebook groups that are men's support groups, but if the amount of times that you've seen people on those groups express actual problems, to be fair, some of them are, some of them can be really good. But I mean, I've seen I've been bullied on those groups before about sharing opinions and emotions, and a lot of it can be like you don't you don't know if someone's expressing themselves, you don't know what's behind that. And often when I get the most expressive is usually when I'm the most down, mm. which isn't necessarily a good thing, but it's a way for me to help deal with what I'm going through. And when you put that out there and then someone makes it worse, it it can have a hugely dramatic effect. And I think people don't realize that, you know, a throwaway comment here or, a, mm. you know, a, a snarky remark to win a bullshit argument that isn't really an argument, it's just a back and forth between two guys, mm. can have such a detrimental effect. I mean, I, I get it, I get it personally. I've had it recently, I've had it this fucking week, where you have some stupid interaction that's a to and fro that doesn't matter about shit, that ends up in a, such a nasty comment that it upset me for two days. Mm. You know, that's just and that's a whole nother bloody vlog as well about cyberbullying and trolls. Do you know what I mean? But um, well, just I mean, it's not even it's not exclusively online. I mean, it can be yeah. You know, but there's there's this the thing that gets me is that there's this certain set of rules that guys are supposedly supposed to fit into to be men, mm. and. I'm, I mean, I'm talking. I'm not talking about this whole new age gender fluidity or anything like that. I'm talking about human beings that are emotional beings. And human beings are emotional, you know. I mean, I feel emotionally better from hanging out with you for the last fucking six hours. Thanks. It's because you vented for six hours. And because we had pizza, <laughs> which had an emotional effect. People don't understand how every little thing has an emotional effect. I was feeling cranky, I didn't really want to come out and come and see Ivana, but we were going to have pizza, and I knew that pizza would make me happy. It was a chemical reaction, it released mm. endorphins, and I felt better. We made some shitty videos, but now we're making good videos. <laughs> but it had an effect, and people don't understand. Like, this this whole old way of thinking where you shouldn't express your opinions, you shouldn't express your emotions, you shouldn't express your feelings... People that still cling to that shit express it, but they express it in a way that it doesn't work. For an example, if you're in a relationship, or not necessarily boy-girl relationship, but if you're, you know, you're whatever it is in some social circle, and you're expressing opinion or you're whatever it is, and someone comes and says, "Hey, that," I'm trying to think of a way to explain it, like. Well, instead of somebody saying, yeah, hey, I really agree with that statement or that opinion, they ha 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 laugh it off and, and give you a bit of shit. Yeah, or take the piss or, or whatever yeah. it is. And, uh, like, people don't seem to understand that the detrimental effect that that can have. 
you know, I mean, I like to think, I mean, I certainly have my ups and downs, and I think I've had a lot more ups and downs in the last couple of years. After you know, the house fire, losing the dog, you know, like, it's, it's, it's been a pretty up and down while. And it's, it's taught me that sometimes it's, well, I mean, what have I really learned from this? Sometimes it's easy just to say nothing and walk the fuck away. But then I'm the one that's stuck there dealing with it, and the other person that's caused it is oblivious to the fact like, people don't understand... Like, again, people don't understand the weight of their words, particularly when it's someone who's in a position of, you know, it's someone that you see every day or if it's someone that you respect or whatever it is. Like, because that person is old school and doesn't know how to express, like, in in what I would consider a modern and reasonable way to express, then it goes back to the old school. Like, you know, harden up, fucking deal with it, whatever it is. Like, that harden up, deal with it, like... The, this is the this, we were on, on a different topic we were talking about this how there's this mentality of guys need to just harden up and get on with it that is bullshit yeah. that is absolute bullshit male suicide is hugely rife in New Zealand and Australia right now because people have been told to harden up and get on with it mm. sometimes that's just not possible and sometimes it seems like a much easier way to fucking top yourself how is that helping anybody it's not mm-hmm. it's making the problem polarizingly worse yeah, I think it comes um, a lot of relationship breakdowns. Again, not just male, female, but friendships, all that kind of stuff. Relationship breakdowns because people aren't expressing themselves. Hmm. People, instead of talking about their feelings and talking about any issues that come up that arise, they're literally just shutting down and ceasing communication. And instead of trying to figure it out and come to resolution, they're just basically running away. Well, the thing that you get is when... If you're angry about something here, it could be anything. It could be that you... Whatever it is. Whatever's making you upset here, if you don't deal with it here, it's going to manifest mm. itself over here as something different. Mm. And that something different can be so many different things. I mean, you put it at a relationship, boy, girl, like, you know, partnership level, you might be upset about... Uh, fucking, you know, you, you're not making, you're not getting as much work as you wanted to get to pay the bills, right? That's a straining thing, particularly mm. for a man if you're going old school, because the man is in his mind the provider and this that and the other, and not may, being able to provide is a huge fucking thing for a guy. The problem is, is that he's not going to say, "Shit, babe, I'm not getting as much work. Maybe you know, let's buy the cheap toilet paper this week." Yeah. Instead, what he's going to do, because he can't express that in a very subtle, in a very distinct system succinct way Mm. of saying babe we can't afford the good toilet paper this week because i'm not getting as much work that because that's going to seem demasculating if you get so what happens is that it gets left a little ball over here blame and you get then you get manipulation and Mm. you get you know someone's going to blow up at you for leaving the toilet seat up when the toilet's not the problem. The problem is you can't afford the toilet paper. Or, you know, the dog fucked off with the toilet paper and there's a good toilet paper gone. And you're going to get angry at that person about their dog and blame them for having a dog when it's the problem is is that you can't afford the good toilet paper. Or and that you didn't communicate that you can no longer afford the good toilet paper. So because you didn't yeah. communicate, you're now taking it out on your wife or whatever because she didn't know that. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And, <laughs> just, and, and, can we just talk, please, guys? And the problem is, is that this person now is going to think I'm the problem because you've yelled at them for whatever reason, which has got nothing to do with the root problem. It's a completely new thing that you've pulled out of thin air because it's the first fucking thing that you looked at and said, that's what's pissing me off right now. Mm. So I'm going to use that and I'm going to blow up about that and we're not going to talk about this problem because that problem is demasculating to me. This is one that I can offload to somebody else. Mm. And that process is prolific. The, I see it firsthand every fucking day. I know people that are dealing with it every fucking day. And it's not helping anybody. Why can't we just say, babe, I didn't make as much money this week. Don't buy the good toilet paper. We can't afford it. Mm. Sorry, we're going to work on it. And maybe, because even if you communicated that, the likelihood of her turning around and saying, hey, I get it. I don't really need to buy this either. What can we do to help you get more work? Whatever it is, whatever the problem is. I mean, that's just one example. If that's the problem, work on it together because two people working on a problem as opposed to one person ignoring a problem is going to make such a fucking difference. You pretty much just summed up my last relationship. You're making me really upset. (laughs) (laughs) We can get the good toilet paper. Oh, I know. Instead of communicating about what issues you may have, let's bottle them all up until one day you just decide that you're going to break up with them. 
that's a good way to have a relationship too, isn't it? Well, no. Women do that as well. I'm not just saying that's a man thing. Women do that a lot. Women keep inside their feelings and instead of nagging until one day they I just I think women snap. are more likely to talk to other women because women understand venting more than men do. Mm. I used to get really angry with venting and I think I understand it more now. Yeah, well that's, yeah. Again, so going back to my personal experience... I feel like I try and communicate in every which way possible to try and connect with the other person to see which way they communicate and which way they're going to hear me, mm. listen to me. Mm. And so I go through every different avenue, like, is this working? Is this working? Can you hear me now? And then they, you know, they're like, why are you venting? Why are you nagging? Why are you like, uh, I can't handle it. I'm like, but I don't know how to communicate with you because you're not communicating with me. Well, a pro tip for I that, hit them with a baseball bat in the <laughs> face with it. Literally. Like, if it's... Hello! <laughs> if it's like, look, asshole, I folded the washing and put it on the end of the bed for you while you were at work, and you kicked it all on the floor, and now I have to do it again. I am thoroughly displeased with your <laughs> lack of, uh, what's the word, gratitude for my efforts. And then punch them in the face. No, don't do that. Just, yeah, communication, it's... You know that you know that book, Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus? Mm. Do you think? Yeah, it's like how how different are we and how can we make it work in terms of communication? Well, and this is what I go back to. This is the whole communication thing. Communication and emotion. No, but if you go back, you know, to the Stone Age and you've got you there very much in that day and age gender roles made sense, mm. right? The man was stronger, physically stronger, so he could pull a bow harder and he could take down a big fucking beast while the women were at home because they could breastfeed so they reared the children, right? Mm. That shit doesn't, that doesn't exist anymore. How many dudes do you know that go out Roll bow like hunting? This. And How many dudes you know flow like this? Anyway. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, those roles aren't as important anymore. Mm. You know, I mean, I mean, a very good friend of mine was a house husband for two years while his wife was the breadwinner, and he was strong enough in himself to be okay with that. Mm. You know, and and I applaud the shit out of that. I would think I would struggle with that. I mean, I would love to be at home with my kids if anybody wants to have kids with me. That would be great. <laughs> but what I'm getting at is that it takes quite a strong person to be able to take that role on with their head up. Do you know what I mean? And, and, I mean, kudos to this person. He did a fucking great job of it, and his kids are wonderful. But it's that whole thing about, like, you know, men need to do this and women need to do that, it, it doesn't exist anymore. Mm. It really doesn't. And the whole idea of, you know, men need to be the strong and they need to be the decisive and they need to be the breadwinner and they need to be the one that comes down hard on problems, that doesn't exist anymore. Because parenting is a partnership. It's a two-way street. Yeah. And you know, they need to work on being more understanding and supportive to hmm. <laughs> the woman. What? And that too. <laughs> Communication and, and emotion, expressing your emotion as well. It's I, I really love a guy that can express his emotion. Hmm. Very much so. I'm not into the blokey, blokey, Harden up! I'm a tough guy. I'm a Kiwi bloke, boop, boop guy. I'm not into because it's that. bullshit. It's not. not, not that it's not all. real. Yeah. All of those people, whenever something comes up, they're going to bottle it inside. They're going to drink yep. it away. No, thank you. Or whatever it is, worst case scenario is suicide, mm. and that's a very, very fucking real problem. No, I think. Yeah, I don't think there's many women that that wouldn't love a guy that can connect on an emotional level. So why why wonder, not be more open with it? I don't understand why it's not okay for men to have emotions. Because because like oh, we're going back old school, men our men, especially our older men, have been raised to think that. I think I already said this at the start, did I? Am I repeating myself? I don't but know. That's I how they, it yet. Yeah, that's how they've been raised. Hmm. That men are men and they're strong and they're tough. They don't crack. They don't show emotion. Well, I mean, if you think about it from that point of view, our parents' parents were a lot of them were military, and then they, they saw World War Two. Mm. So, I mean, a lot of that mentality comes from the military. I mean, we don't have that mentality anymore. I mean, don't get me wrong; we've got one of the best armed forces in the world, but it's not as it's not it's not as prevalent throughout everybody because the world is not at war, mm. thankfully. 
Mm. Um, but I mean, you know, that 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 lifestyle isn't a thing anymore. And and, and to be fair, World War Two is what kind of started. Well, even World War One is what sort of started this women's revolution. Of well, hey, we can do all of these jobs while the men are off. Let's keep doing it. And I'm okay with that. I'm all about equality. Don't get me wrong. But I mean, in the same level, going back to the original point, is that we have to understand that we're all humans. We all have emotions. Mm. We all have ups and downs. And that's okay. It's okay that it's not that you're not okay. And being able to vocalize that and communicate that in a space where you're not going to have it made worse. I mean, to be fair, actually, you know, like you guys that watch the shit that we make have been incredibly supportive over of me personally over the last couple of years through all the shit that I've been through and all the shit that I've tried to actually do with it. Like, if I didn't have you guys, fuck, I don't know if I'd still be here today. You know, I mean, it's been a fucking wild ride for the last couple of years. And I mean, I very much use this as a as a way to express my feelings because it helps me get it out there. Mm. See, I find, I personally find um, vulnerability very attractive and people showing that. I find that really, I find that shows strength. I find that people showing vulnerability shows strength. So I find that stronger and more attractive than a guy that's all like... A false bravado. Yeah. Very much so. So go figure. So, find yourself a safe space that you can talk about your emotions, get them off your chest, and I'm going to link all of the typical, like, you know, lifeline, yep. youth line, all that crap, because there are people that will listen, and I will listen. If you need to talk to me, fucking there's messages, boxes, emails, it's all there. Just get in touch, because it's so much better to talk about it than do something drastic, so... Stay strong and we will see you next time.